Hey guys, it's Hunter. Welcome back to another video. So this is my second attempt at making a video on the Positive Grid Spark. Positive Grid asked me if I wanted to check it out. I said, sure, it looks interesting. So thanks to them for sending it over and sponsoring this video. I've had it for about a month and I spent a fair amount of time trying to do my normal produced track demo. That was not going to be a great video, so I scrapped it. What I was running into is I didn't really feel like I was conveying what makes this amp different. The Spark is unique in that it is a true practice amp. And I don't just mean that in generic marketing terms, like small, convenient for doing quick noodles in the bedroom, sounded kind of weird. What I mean is this, more so than any other amp I've yet come across, is specifically built with specially designed features that encourage you to practice and become a better player. Now even though it's a practice amp though, the unit itself actually feels really professional with a decent weight and like nice faux leather. I mean, if that's something that matters to you, it matters to me, I like it. The Spark being a positive grid product also has the power of the tone cloud. Just like in Bias Amp or Bias Effects, you can download digital models of popular amps and pedals for a basically unlimited number of virtual tones. My favorite part of the feature set though is the AI. Basically the companion app will analyze your playing and create a virtual backing track, essentially allowing you to practice as a one man or one woman band. Now I've seen a lot of other videos where they run through how that helps with lead practice and stuff like that, but I was more curious how it would work as a generator of riff ideas. So I've set myself a challenge. There are two virtual drummers, David and Sharon, who have different drumming personalities. I'm gonna create the backing track and then have just three minutes to come up with a riff idea for each of them. There will be three rounds with different tones from the cloud. Round one will be a Mesa dual rec, round two a PV5150, and round three an orange rock reverb. And we're gonna see which AI drummer inspired the better lightning round riffs. Think of it like an amateur quarantine battle of the bands. Three minutes is kind of not a huge amount of time, so I'm not expecting these to be good, but this should be an interesting challenge. So let's do this. <laughs> Now with the riffs recorded, let's see who inspired the better riffs, Dave or Sharon. Here we go.
So I think we've learned a couple of things here. One, it's a good idea to spend more than just three minutes on a riff. Two, I think Dave is my boy. Sharon's got chops though. And three, the Spark is just a really fun, unique piece of gear. It's also a pretty loud Bluetooth speaker. My neighbors were not amused. But yeah, you can also use the Spark as an audio interface, direct record to your DAW via USB. There are a ton of backing tracks in the app for multiple styles, multiple tunings. The Tone Cloud, again, is just one of the coolest things ever. Like I chose three amp models that I'm kind of more familiar with, but you've also got your Plexis, your Angles, your Friedmans. Of course, you've got Clean Tones, which I didn't really get into here. And then built-in effects like delay and reverb to really craft a fun jam tone no matter what mood you're feeling. There's also like virtual compressors, overdrives, modulators. Basically, I just scratched the surface as to what you can do with the Spark. There's a ton of videos up. And what's cool is that everyone's kind of using it differently, which shows the versatility as a practice tool. And I thought I'd make this video showing how it can be used as like a quick idea generator. Um, then you can take those ideas and expand on them later, if you so choose. Yeah, just a super fun, unique toy. So if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this little quick riff challenge video. Maybe I'll do more in the future. Social media, merch, and Discord server links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome, and I'll see you for the next video.